So we got the doors, side doors locked down right now. The new flock's coming in this morning. They'll stay in the house for a few days while they get trained to the water system, the roost bars and all that. And then we're actually gonna take this house to a new property. That feed box holds about a week's worth of feed. We could have built one, or I bought one, I should say, but we built this one in-house. Here's a uh, back door. Opens up. All these side doors open up to provide a ton of shade. We built skylights into it. That's so the birds can see inside as it starts to get dark out. They can still see where to roost. We noticed on the other houses that they get in super early because the houses get dark so fast. So we decided to add skylights. And it really does bring a lot of light in. The floor stands about three feet off the ground. Tons of ventilation underneath the house. The peak, 13 feet. We've got enough roof space for probably close to 700 birds when the doors are open. The nest boxes are really designed for about 500 birds. And so we're not gonna overcrowd this house. We're gonna just put uh, 500. It's the water system. We had to put the uh, tanks inside the house to keep them in the shade. We hook a um, garden hose up, water supply line. And in the summer, it sits out in the sun all day. So that water is 120 degrees when it gets to the house. So we've got to give it some tanks to sit in and cool off before the birds get to it. The water line conveniently placed right here at the nest boxes we also have a water line underneath the trailer so they have plenty of access to water the feed system the lighting system the nest boxes, they have a, uh, that door right there, if you can see it. We'll uh, automatically push the birds out of the nest boxes in the evening. It's all run and controlled by this. Control unit. We have the electronic system in here. That's a, a fence charger. That runs a hotline that sits on top of the on top of the feed. You can kind of see it right there. That keeps the birds from getting on top of the feeders and crapping. And then that's where we hook the water system up right there. And then we also have a hose bib in case we need to hook a hose up. And over here, that's our external water system. And down there is a uh, water for the dogs. The 
livestock guardian dogs. So we tried to think of everything with this. It's on wheels, it should be easy to move. We can actually take it down the road if we need to. That's it. Thanks for watching.